share my five realization in this pandemic and how it gives impact to my life. First one, acceptance. The situation has taught us that everything in our life used to revolve like work, gym, walls, or even the people that surround us is just temporary. Today, we should learn to adapt the new normal and we should follow the protocols that was given to us with the government. struggling in our living expenses so we have to be financially prepared for us to have better physical and mental well-being because we all know that money is one of the biggest contributor of stress like pagsihita una una sa tamangitang kwarta o sa wala pag yung tay kwarta napatay mga impending bills so it can trigger our mental and emotional health so when we are financially prepared it allows us to keep up to date in our household bills and we can easily provide the needs of our family like foods, medication, or other basic necessities. And apart from having money, we are also teaching ourselves to be responsible in managing our funds. Third one that I realized is self-care. Self-care is about caring for our physical self by eating healthy foods, taking adequate sleep, caring about our hygiene, exercising regularly, o bang pa. Naroon nga pandemic, kinahang nalik ang juta ka sistensya para dilit na mag-suffer sa mga symptoms sa COVID-19. And avoiding certain people to protect our emotional health is part of taking care of ourselves. And the pandemic helps us to grow and realize a lot of things. It's like the universe is giving us an opportunity to heal. Right now, our health is the most precious, the most valuable thing that we can have against the COVID-19. Fourth one that I realize is I have more time with my family than before. This time we should express our love by giving a lot of attention and time to our loved ones and be empathetic and compassionate to one another. Despite of living with uncertainties, I am so blessed that we're still complete and healthy. The situation has taught us that it's our own home and family that keeps us safe. We finally learned the fact that it's not how we spend our time, but who we spend it with. Fortunately, my family became my friend, comfort zone, and strength in this chaos. We should show how much we love and care for them before it's too late. Lastly, that I realize is to stay faithful. For almost 8 months of struggling in this pandemic, thankfully, what happened to get passed down to the healthy ka pa ng pamilya karon. He made me more firm in any challenges or circumstances that comes to my way. Since I started praying, I lost anger, ego, depression, security, and selfishness. Sometimes the answer to our prayers is not gaining but losing, which is ultimately the gain. We should not forget to pray because it is our weapon and armor in this crisis. Thank you for watching. Thank you.